steps. Well, it looks like my editing process is going to be a little bit hampered because Simba has decided he wants to sit on the work that I want to get done in this editing process. He is currently sitting on and sleeping on my yearly club. So let's see how we go with a cat in the way. Okay, so let's get to editing this club again, shall we? I am going to switch to a digital mode so you can see what I'm doing better because I put all this into my Trello up in a digital mode to show you where my thought processes is going because the cat oh, keeps sitting on these, eating these, and I'm going to end up losing things. But this first one over here is in the green labels is my summer club. Down here is my all year round club. The pink ones that I have in there kind of are my notes, my goals, totals, that type of thing with that club. So over here is where it gets a little bit tricky. So the top one there is the winter club I kind of want to keep going. These two down here were winter clubs I started, but I didn't want them to come at the same month as the other club. So my initial idea was to have one each of these three clubs come on a quarterly basis, but on different consecutive months. And when I first did it, my winter club and my summer club kind of, no, my winter club and my all yearly club synced up. And because I didn't process it straight away, I hit process the following month, which kind of then threw out my thoughts of where I was intending them to process. So I ended up in trying to get that sequence done for quarterly clubs. So the reason I've got the washi tape across there. So this bottom part of the winter club sinks now at the same time. See, the cat's back as my yearly club. So I know that they're shipping at the same time. What's above there? And my finger keeps going in front of that. Oh, I am hopeless with trying to hold this and not put my finger in front of that camera. I do apologise. So my quarterly club the one above the washi tape is my other winter quarterly club and it's now going at the same time as that other quarterly club and then over here is my monthly club so i have everything that's processing this month so nothing's going to change this month with what's processing this month so what is processing this month i believe is my monthly and I have had already processed, it just hasn't been, I think it processes on the 4th or it gets shipped on the 4th, this one and that one. So I have the two winterly ones and that processing this month. That winterly one wasn't as big when it processed press, words are hard today, when it processed. I have added more since then. Naughty, naughty me. So what I want to do, though, is I'm going to start off on my summer one because that process is next month and that's the one I want to kind of downgrade so it's ready to go next month. So I will talk about my thoughts on the summer one first and we're going to head to my digital mode just because as you can see, it's a little bit hard with Simba, who seems to think this is the perfect place to rest. So I'm back here and I have split my screen in two so you can see my club and you can see my thoughts and my club edit process. Now, I am going to say I already tried filming this summer section once. 
while I was deleting things out. So I have already done the editing process for my summer one and realized my screen didn't record correctly. So let's quickly talk about my editing process here, shall we? So I've got here details to consider in my editing process. So here in Australia at $51, you get 10% off and at $101, you then get your half price item. It costs us $10 to ship products up to $100 and then 10% of the cost anything over $100. So that's just some basic details that may differ from other regions in their pricing point. And you will see as we go through some of my clubs, while these decisions can kind of impact your decisions on what you may have in a Sensi Club and what you may not have in a Sensi Club. Checklists to make some of my decisions were quantity. Am I using it? Multiplicity. Is there a reason why I have more than one of a particular scent in my club? Do I go through them to warrant having that in there? And like scents, is there something that might be available in the catalogue that is similar that I don't need it in my club for? So we're focusing mainly on with this part of the video is my summer bars here. So these are the goals I had for my summer club. So it was 19 bars. It was sitting at $223. It had seven licensed products in there. Our licensed bars are a dollar more than our normal bars. So our normal bars are $10 each and our licensed bars are $11 each. And that included the half price with box and shipping. So my goal, I wanted to bring it down to... $130 without the half price product. So my half price product was the whiff box. A whiff box here in Australia is $51. So it's roughly $25 half price in Australia. So it would have brought it up to about $150, including the whiff box by taking four to six items out. But when I went into actually another part of Trello I have here, it shows me basically my inventory of current wax I have. And I have it in Trello set up a section where I call my winter club, a section that I call my summer melting, a section I call my Christmas melting. For those of you who do not know what Trello is, it's kind of like an index system, but a digital index system. So if you've ever had those older fashioned recipe boxes where they're indexed or you worked in an office, my father and his partner in their dentist office, they were old school. They didn't have computers when he before he retired. So they had index cards for their patients, all alphabetized in boxes. So Basically, that's what Trello is. So you can move the cards from one to the other. So going into where I would melt particular scents in summer, it already shows I have 171 bars and these are not including rollovers from winter. So there are scents in my winter section like strawberry rose that I warm all year round that I'm going to take out of that index come November pop it into my summer melting to see what my quantity is there. So that's not including those rollovers. So that, to me, I kind of just went from November through to February, four months. If I were to divide 171 bars into four months, I would have to go through 42 bars a month, which I could do. I'd probably go through that a month, but and March, I'd probably warm a lot of summer stuff too. So even five months, which would bring it down to 30-something bars a month. So I kind of have a lot of bars already to get me going for summer. So that was kind of my goals. I wanted to remove at least four to six out of that stash. So let's talk about what was in there. Because as I said, I did delete it down. I did get it down. 
So sweet plum pastry, I did keep. This, as you can see, I already have quantity zero. As soon as that comes into my club, it gets warm straight away. Banana berry, I did keep. This is just a very beautiful baked banana when it's warming. Doesn't last long. I probably get half a day, maybe a day out of it. Really love it in my daughter's room, but I'm thinking of trying it in the kitchen too this summer. So, and I'm surprised I've still got two. Normally they come in and they go quite quickly too because it is a very beautiful summer bakery. Lemon drizzle cake, you can see I've got zero of, but I did keep that in my club because, again, as soon as it comes in, I have to have it. I kept Stitch Experiment 626. This is also one that normally I would have zero of, except it just recently came out and has been recently vaulted back up. So I did stock up a little bit. It's also one of my daughter's favourites, so that's going to go very fast this summer. I already know that. Angel 624, I kept, again, it's sitting at zero quantity because it gets used quite frequently in this house. So these are scents that I know we use that I know aren't going to go to waste, which is why I chose not to delete them out of my club. Pina Colada Cha Cha. It looks like I'm not deleting anything out, doesn't it? I have quantity of two. This is the pineapple scent I reach for in summer. So that's not going anywhere. Birthday wishes quite frequently I'm out of. I've only got one at the moment. So that stayed in my club too. It's just a beautiful basic vanilla cake scent. Where or mad here, I have a quantity of two. It stayed in my club. This is the scent that made me start. Scentsy Club Dumbo Circus Parade, I had to keep that in my club. That's now a scent memory for us in this household. It gets warmed in the week between my son's birthday and my daughter's birthday. Their birthday's a week apart. That's their birthday scent. It's bright, it's fun, it's happy. Kukui and coconut. Now, this was one I did struggle with, but I did take this one out of my club so I can delete kukui and coconut from that list. Now the reason I took that out and I did go into a little bit of detail I'm thinking with our good vibes collection which was the summer collection for other regions I'm even thinking with the Easter collection the Mother's Day collection they haven't made their way to our clearance section yet or they haven't made their way to a flash sale yet. But I do know when they got vaulted back up that they were still available. Most of those bars were still available for purchase right up until the moment they actually got vaulted and taken off the site to make room for more scents. So I'm thinking at some stage it may make its way back into either a clearance or a flash sale if not, I will just have to wait till they get voted back in to bring back my bar. But I'm not going to die without them. Tangerine Creamsicle, I did end up taking out of my club. I've got two of them already in my stash. And we are going to delete that out of that little index there because I did take that out of my club. It didn't make its way to the clearance section, so that gives me hope that it may come back next catalog season zoinks is currently still available so i did end up taking zoinks out i really do enjoy it on cold but i haven't warmed the two bars i have and if i do warm it it's probably only going to be warmed in my daughter's room so i kind of feel those two bars will be enough to get us through summer tiari and coconut i took out and i took out the spaced on like scents we have coconuts for coconuts in our current catalogue, which also has T. Ariane coconut in its scent notes. It's a little bit more coconut, more sunscreen forward, whereas T. Ariane coconut was a little bit more floral, a little bit more heavier on the Tiari. To me, it was a lighter version of Lush Gardenia. But again, this is another collection that I have a feeling at some stage 
if there were any extras will make its way to a future flash sale or clearance section this is just my thoughts none of these may make their way to them but i'm kind of feeling at some stage they will i did peachy and palm trees i took that out for that same reason thinking i may see it in a future flash sale or clearance haul where i can pick up a few then and i have quite a big bunch of the oh what is it the other fruity scent that was our scent of the month ruby nectarine i think it was called was it called ruby nectarine and to me they were very similar in sense they smelt like the fresh fruit straight from the vine the fur on the peel the flesh all that that is why i love that so much it smelt like the actual fruit but i got very similar vibes from ruby nectarine which i still have a little stash of so i ended up taking that out hoping i might see that in a future flush sale or future clearance update I took pink sugarberry mint out. Now, this didn't make its way to the clearance section, so it gives me hope it may come back in a future catalogue. And also, I have sugar, I have pink haze, I have shut high. So I have a few, I guess you could say, cotton candy type scents. So I felt I didn't need pink sugarberry mint. I took... Ursula Poor Unfortunate Souls out because as you can see I have four of them which is plenty to get me through summer am I going to regret that once those four are gone quite possibly but you never know it might come back and get re-released out of the vault at some stage and that's the same with Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl I took that out of my club we have two to enjoy they're normally only enjoyed in my daughter's room. So I kind of feel between that and Ursula, that's enough to get us through those aquatic fruity scents. And I took Be Fabulous out, even though I know this is probably not going to come back in a catalogue because it did make its way to the clearance section here in Australia. And currently in the clearance section, it's $7.00. I even with with my 10% discount I'd be paying nine dollars a bar in my club so I kind of feel the fact that I had two in my stash means that would be enough to me to enjoy this summer considering how many summer bars I have I may pick up a few more from the clearance section but I don't feel like I need to have it continuously come as much as I do enjoy it. So after taking that down, my summer club is now sitting at a nice happy number of $131, including shipping. So we can now adjust this to... a hundred and thirty one dollars including the half price with box and shipping so stay tuned for the next part so now we're going to look at why we're in I guess this Scentsy Club that monthly one so I do now have a monthly one to get a couple of cents that I kind of wanted to stock up on. Now, as you can see, any bar, or not any bar, any club that ships this month is receiving a free iridescent pearl scentsy bar. That's a free one-time promotional product. If my order qualifies at... The half price item i would also be getting a free pack of cotton cleanups which i am getting in one of the winter ones so i'm not going to try and make it reach 101 dollars. my goal here is to get my Cincy club down to something a little bit more manageable so i have two clementine cupcake in this particular club I'm going to just bring it down to one because honestly, this club now comes monthly. So 
I don't need 24 a year. 12 a year will be plenty of Clementine Cupcake for me. I also have Clementine Cupcake in one of my quarterly clubs. That's how much I love this fragrance. But do I need 24 a year? Probably not. So one a month. I normally throw one from my kitchen area. That tends to be the area I warm it. So I normally warm one bar at a time. So I feel like one in a month would be ample. So it's saying here, once you decrease the quantity, it cannot be increased again. This cannot be undone. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to change the quantity to just one a month. That's still going to bring me a scent I really do enjoy in but not go overboard with it. So let's delete that out of that out of there. So I can kind of see where I'm going. So cozy cardigan stain, sugar cookies stain, hugging a mug stain for the time being. I kind of want to I kind of am blowing through my stash of hugging a mug and sugar cookie at the moment I have none so that's going to stay until I can build up a stash where I feel happy to delete them out sugar cookie I have a feeling is going to stay longer than hugging a mug I also have these in a quarterly club at some stage I would like to delete hugging a mug out of the monthly and just have it come quarterly but at this stage I don't have enough to do that so that's staying now star wars light side of the forks the only reason that's in my club at the moment now i'm going to stick that to the side on the chopping block to know that that's the scent i would probably look at deleting later on even though i'm not deleting it now is that i need to collect one more label for my children who like to collect the labels we're missing the holographic collector label once we collect that Star Wars Light Side of the Force is going from our club. Cider Mill at the moment is going to be Stain. That's another one I blow through quite frequently, so I would like to get a bit of a stock up on that. Boho. Now, this is a really pretty scent, and I'm just not, have not been reaching for it. I've got four in my stock, so I'm thinking, do I keep boho on or do I delete boho out I'm thinking I'm going to make the decision to delete boho out of my club as much as I really do like it it's kind of like a spice plum it's really really nice do I pull the trigger yes I feel like the fact that I haven't reached for the four I have since the last spring but my bar when it was available to me is an indication that I don't need it I particularly don't need it coming every month the bring back my bars didn't make their way into our clearance update either whoops just turn that back the right way the bring back my bars as I was saying didn't make their way into the clearance update either so I do have a feeling at some stage we might see some of the older bring back my bars sneak their way into a clearance update or a flush sale so I may have a chance to pick up a few more at some later state so I know that's only deleting two from my monthly colour but that brings the total down to 64.90 so stay tuned for the next club update so this is my winter club and I've got a couple of thoughts here but I'm going to start off with my conundrum so my conundrum is that Sensi and I think it's a good thing what Sensi have decided to do originally Sensi had a blackout period of 10 days prior to your club processing and shipping out you couldn't make changes they've now removed as of the beginning of this month that blackout period so you can make changes right up until the day before your sensi club basically processes but my conundrum with this club is that it had already started processing before they implemented the new takeaway blackout period so 
it was already processing at $130 and anything you basically amend in your club while it's processing when it had that blackout period, any changes you would make wouldn't take effect to the following time your club shipped, if that makes sense. So I purposely took out a lot of things that had come back or hadn't added things that I wanted to add in this winter club because I didn't want to pay over $200 for this winter club when I knew I had a few other clubs shipping this month. So I purposely had it down to this where it's saying $130 because it was already in the processing change. And then Sensi announced their new fantastic let's get rid of this blackout period. So I, during that processing stage before they announced that, added in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 bars. So my winter club would then be $250 including shipping and a half price which was my whiff box but after they removed the blackout period when I went to go and try and remove them again so basically remove everything from the nightmare before Christmas down because these bars are still available and then put them back in because they'd remove the blackout period and I thought this was going to affect the price. It wasn't letting me remove them because they had processed this club. So I'm hoping that means it's still only going to ship at $130 and deliver at me from sugar cough cookie upwards and not deliver. I'm sorry if I'm going to fast here and not deliver from down there I'm hoping because it just wouldn't allow me to take them out and I think it's because they've removed the blackout period but they already processed this club so this club was locked and it's say so when you try and remove them you get we're sorry an error occurred as you saw we're temporarily unable to do it now my money's due to come out today, so I'm waiting for my money to come out so I can finish this club edit process with you. So, my thoughts are with this one though, I want to try something a little bit different. So, I have my little folders you saw in the beginning, but my thoughts are when this ships, removing everything again from the nightmare before Christmas, Halloween time, anything that's basically still able for me to move around. I've opened up a, because there's some bars in here that I have two of. So my thoughts are, this is just a trial thing. I'm still trying to work out what's the best way for me to keep my costs down with my clubs in price. For me to not get an over excessive amount of bars that I'm still going to use these bars but still get the bars I love. So my thoughts are maybe eventually ditching all of the clubs but my original club under my name and kind of changing the process frequency. Like while I've still got sense that are locked in these clubs here that I really love, they will stay until they come back and I can move them. But my thoughts are, so I have the monthly club in my original name and I have the summerly, summer quarterly club in my original name, but my thoughts are making the bi-monthly one a winter one. So what I would eventually do with this basically this one here as you can see the monthly one what I would eventually do most of those are winter scents so I'm thinking my monthly one would be like a stock up 
club if there's a particular scent I like but I want to get a little bit of a stock up rather than just have one every three months it goes into my monthly club and when I've got that enough of that stock up as you can see most of these except for probably Star Wars light side of the force are ones I'd warm more in winter sugar cookie cozy cardigan I'd warm all year round so it wouldn't matter them being in the bi-monthly club Star Wars light side of the force is only there till we collect our last label so once we get that that actual bar is going to be deleted out so what I would do is what I've got what I feel is a good stash of the monthly one I would merge them to the bi-monthly one so it would become part of my I guess you'd say winter club and then that monthly one would be three for me just to do as an in and out club for things as I needed it but it would also be used as kind of a transition so what I mean by transition is so my summer one here comes quarterly so this year looking at what I've got to get to warming through this summer and what I have with summer scents it's pretty good at quarterly I wouldn't want to shift it into a higher frequency I knocked it down to 10 bars 10 bars that I know I really really love I've already done that so I've dropped my summer down to its minimum of where it equals its half price item and I know these 10 bars pretty much I will get through every quarter so I know I'm not wasting what's coming through every quarter but say in 12 months time what I would be thinking of doing if I got through my summer stash and am thinking then right during the summer periods I need that more frequently I would then basically flip the winter club and flip the summer club without and to do that without merging it because if I were to try and put my summer straight into bi-monthly they would all join up with the winter one but to do that without merging it is why I would use the monthly one as an in and out one so what I would do is say at the moment I would use my bi-monthly club what I and I'll tell you what I've done with my bi-monthly in a moment so Let's go back to what I was thinking of doing. So this is probably going to stay like this for 12 months. But in 12 months time, when I'm wanting to use more winter bars in winter, more summer bars in summer to amend for the frequency of those bars coming at those times. So what I would do is, right, winter's over. I'm ready to warm my summer bars, say. But I'm only getting them once every three months. I need them a little bit more frequently so let's do a flip so my summer club would then be moved to the bi-monthly club so it'd be mer not to the bi-monthly it would be merged to the monthly club so then that whole quarterly club would be free and I would be like right it's summer these winter bars I'm getting every two months I'm not going to need as frequently I've got a little bit of a stockpile now. Instead of having that in my bi-monthly club, flip, I will then merge it to where my summer club was originally into my quarterly club. So those bars, I will then be getting quarterly because I wouldn't need them as frequently because it was the middle of summer. But I would still be getting one bar every three months, which means I would still be getting over the six months where... I wasn't warming them two of those bars so I wouldn't miss out on bars I love and I wouldn't be basically having a whole stockpile of bars I don't need I would have then two bars by the time winter came and then because I've had that summer one in the monthly one and I had now merged the and I hope I'm making sense here because that probably sounds like I'm going all over the place. But so 
And then because I had merged what where my winter club was originally into the quarterly club because I was getting it less frequently because I didn't need it, I could then merge the summer club into the bi-monthly one where I was getting it more frequently during the summer months because I would be using those bars during those months. So I would be getting them more frequently during those summer months and then come season change again, do the whole flip again, take the bi-monthly summer out, stick it into the monthly while I move my winter bars back into the bi-monthly because I would use those bars more frequently in winter and then shift the summer bars back into the quarterly of those months where I wasn't going to be using them but still wanted to guarantee to get those bars. I'd get two of them in that six month period. If I didn't skip, if I skipped, I'd get one because you can skip once every 12 months. So basically the months that I am using those bars, I would have them as bi-monthly. The months I am not using those bars, I would have them as quarterly. So that's kind of my thought process going ahead here. Obviously there are bars that are locked off in those other areas. So this is just kind of something I'm thinking of experimenting with to see how it was working. And then the monthly club, as I said, I would use as an in and out club if I want to pull up a bit of a stock of something. And when it comes time to merging, if say it's got more summer bars in that in and out month club, if I'm still wanting to keep that bar, I would then merge it to whatever one I was merging into the monthly one or I would make sure before I did that grand merge that I would have those bars in one of the other club at least once so I could get rid of that out of the monthly ones. So the months I'm not using basically the merge over for the transition seasons, that monthly club would be used to get my essentials because I'm always forgetting to get things until I run out of them like laundry and that so I could kind of use that as my in and out out club as I need it and hopefully eventually what I've got in those other clubs would then just come back to a club in my name if this thought process works and it would still keep my thought process and my visual process I need to have winter months winter sense separated and summer sense separated because when I did have them together, I was making the mistake of deleting bars out prematurely, thinking I have a big stash of them, I don't need any more. But I was, for instance, deleting a winter bar out in the middle of summer. And the reason I may have had that big stash was because, well, it's summer, I wasn't using that bar that I use in winter. Then winter would come, I'd blow through those bars and I would be like, why did I delete that out? or why did I change the quantity? So this way, because they are specific to a winter or a summer club, I now have that thought in mind, well, no, I don't lead that bar out because it's the wrong time of year. And this way, they would be coming at a frequency where they would be used at that time of year as well. And then I'm hoping that way, it's gonna keep my club to a more manageable level. So. Let's see how we go from here. I was going to try and do this little bit of an edit with you, but I can't do it at the moment because I'm still waiting for them to take the money out, which is supposed to come out today. Knowing my luck, it will come out late tonight sometime. But I might do a walkthrough and then just do the edit with you later, come back on later. But I'm going to rearrange my little purple notes here of what I did put into that bi-monthly club so I can just see what I've put into that bi-monthly club already and then when it's t not well okay it must have just gone let me have a look okay so let's okay so 
it must have just processed out because now it's allowing me to amend all this. So I'd say they've just taken my money. I'm just going to quickly check my PayPal account. I won't be a moment. Do I have it coming out of my PayPal account or do I just have it coming straight out of my bank? I can't remember how I set this one up, to be honest with you. But it's now... Let me go into workstation. It will tell me if it's fully processed out because it wasn't allowing me to do that. As you saw before when I was talking, it wasn't allowing me to do anything. It was basically staying stuck there. But I'd say they're doing something. Or I'd say something has fix the process because as I said since that blackout I had a very different just wasn't letting me remove them see we're sorry an error occurred we're temporarily unable to make changes to your item but then I can take apple smalls out if I want to take apple smalls out but then it's saying I will lose my half price item. So I think because that was in the original processing stage. But because I put all of this down after it processed, it's just weird. It's not letting me do it. That's just weird. I might have to ring support and just see what the go is. I know it has something to do with the fact that my club was processing before they changed the blackout period. I know it's something to do with that. But you'd think it wouldn't affect it this much. Interesting. We'll come back and do that a little bit later. I'm going to fiddle with what I've got in my bi-monthly club. I'm going to hope to God they don't going to charge me $260 odd because I couldn't take them out. And let's see what happens until then i will be back back again dealing with a two or his three now but he's still very much my baby and still very sooky and his way of communicating is to scream and carry on so i was just dealing with him so gryffindor Maple rum cake. Give me candy. Slytherin and Ravenclaw. So. sure my son has taken off with some of my little labels here so that's the cozy vanilla pumpkin i couldn't find earlier so we've got cozy vanilla pumpkin we've got give me candy and then we have i'm putting gryffindor down the bottom of my folder here because that's potentially one that will probably end up coming out. And we have maple rum cake. I put up top of my folder. You can't see because I'm screen sharing this, not my little posty note. Ravenclaw, it seems to have disappeared out of my post-it note. So I'll we'll find that a bit later. Slytherin. Then we're going to talk about the Halloween town. One of the Halloween towns I did ditch, so I've only got one coming. I've got one coming of Jack's Obsession. 
one coming of roll the dice and I will put the wizarding world down there and I chose as my half price items here the cotton cleanups that I will be getting bi-monthly so I seem to be missing the raising tool which I still and that's why I couldn't find it it was still in my folder that had quarterly so there we go so that's all set up so the bi-monthly club now if we go out of that what I want to do now is write a new card up bi-monthly winter because this is where my winter scents are as I said this is kind of an experimental thing in my original club and what my intention will be not this summer but next summer doing a flip between my summer scent which is now quarterly and the bi-monthly so this summer I've got enough that I don't need to do that but next summer I'll be probably like right over summer I want my summer bars to come more regularly my winter bars to come less regularly because I won't be warming them so I will flip the summer bars to the bi-monthly and the winter bars to the quarterly and then when I'm warming my winter bars flip the winter bars back to the bi-monthly and the summer bars back to the quarterly so I'm going to see how that works whether that works better than me having clubs all over the place so it will be interesting to see so bi-monthly winter so we have in here it will tell you we have 10 bars hang on just a so we have in my and you can see I've skipped November here but the good thing about this gift let's talk about the numbers first that I was doing first sorry screaming children that is life with me I do apologize I can't seem to do a video without an interruption from kids a phone call lately I'm just all over the place lately so I will try to edit most of the screaming out, but I don't know how well that's going to work with a screen share. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got those ten bars, which seem to be the magic number of bars that give you the half price item. Including shipping, and I can't spell, plus half price item, cotton cleanups. And that is a total with the discount. of a hundred and fifteen dollars so the other thing i like to do is one two three four five six seven so i'm gonna go seven license so the other thing i like to do is i like to differentiate how many license bars in my note because license bars actually do cost a dollar more than our regular bars. So it kind of gives me an indication when I go in to do my next Scentsy Club edit, that's seven extra dollars in there because they cost a dollar more. I've got seven license bars. So that's seven dollars more than if it was a normal bar. So I can kind of adjust to the pricing if I'm looking at adding something 
but need to take something away if I'm trying to keep that cost down. So that's just kind of, as I said, where it's got details to the sort of just notes that I'm kind of thinking or processing through my brain when I'm doing these edits. So I will go through and recalculate the total but we still do need to go into my other winter club and do them there. Quite smaller club, and that's where I don't want to do this upside down. Gotta love my computer wanting to do different things to me. That's where my details of $51 at 10% off, $10 to ship up to 100 and then the half price item of 100 is going to come into play because some of those winter clubs for instance are a lot smaller and i'm going to show you why i've got that note there because for instance this one here has one two three four five bars in it they're all non-licensed bars they come to a total of fifty dollars i'm one dollar off getting that ten percent off so with shipping, I'm still paying $10 in this winter quarterly too. So by itself, I'm paying $64. If I throw something in like a $3.50 light globe, that's the cheapest item that Sensi sells our light globes. They're $3.50 here in Australia. So I throw that into my Sensi Club and light globes never go astray. I always like to keep light globes in hand, hand so that's what I normally do so that then brings my total to $53 but I've reached the tier that gives me a 10% discount so that $53 goes down to roughly $45 10% $5 discount on $50 so so you're looking at maybe a little bit over $45 $46 because you've got the light globe as well so instead of paying $53, I'm paying $46. And then shipping is $56. So I'm actually saving money even with shipping. So before I was paying $60 with shipping, but by throwing a light globe in, I'm paying $56 with shipping. So I'm saving $4 and I'm getting an extra item. So my club is cheaper and I'm getting an extra item on top of that with shipping. So that's where that note at, 10, at $50 to get a 10% discount, I throw that in. So if I count the cost of the light globe, $350, I'm virtually getting that for three. Well, I'm not getting it for free. I am paying for it. I'm getting 10% off. But when I was paying $60 and I'm only paying $46, like, why wouldn't you throw that light globe in and save money in the long run and make your whole order cheaper? So I do have to go in and order those smaller, edit those smaller ones. We will do that in a bit. See you soon. Okay. Now, this edit may be brutal, but it's helping what I'm doing to focus on really cutting it down, really looking at what I can live without. So I've reduced that quarterly. We were looking at a total quarterly of $200, which was for, no, this is about $350 a month, which I was not prepared to do. I'm now down to something a lot more manageable. I'm now down to a total quarterly every three months of $694, $231 a month. But we're going to cut it down even more. Honestly, I need to work on the stash I have, which is what I keep saying. There are scents that I do want to keep that I don't want to be without. But there are scents in here that I'm kind of just hoarding and not using, so they can go. So, we're now, I can't remember if I've 
done an edit of this one in this little process but I'm showing you my back and forth I'm showing you my thoughts here so this is probably going to be a fairly long video all these screenshots so I've now gone into my scents that are all year round which I have currently sitting at $94 it's saying I'm $11 away or $91 so it's saying I'm $11 away from adding that half price item but this stage I'm not really caring about the half price item in those ones because as I said my ultimate goal is to try and get back to the 1.67 my all year round scents will probably once they come back if they're ones I'm keeping will go into either where I warm them more even though I use them all year round so love story isn't go in anywhere my last edit a few months back I did reduce it from two to one I do go through love story quite regularly I already know love story isn't going anywhere so the two that I am going to get rid of are sad eye because I have sugar and I have pink haze and as much as I love sad eye I've got two of them I get this club quarterly I have and I think I've skipped this club at some stage. I can't remember if I have or not, to be honest with you. But I get this club quarterly. So to me, Sugar and Pink Haze are very similar to Sad Eye. And I warm them more. I have two of Sad Eye already in my current inventory. So... I haven't warmed it. That shows me I haven't warmed Shut Eye in at least six months. And if I'm only going to pick up one every six months, I've got a year's worth of inventory. You can hear one child yelling at his computer game, one child yelling at his brother and sister outside. I do apologise. As I said, you've got noisy, noisy... I've got a noisy, noisy family. So, I know it's and I always get my bar but I'm going to pull the trigger I was thinking of waiting till after November to pull in the trigger and getting that third one but I as I said have to I had to stop that it is just getting noisier and noisier so we were talking about sad eye so I pulled the trigger I do delete sad eye out of my club I can live without sad eye if I haven't warmed it in six months and I'm only going to reach for it once every six months, those two I already have are going to last me all year. So I will aim to probably warm them in summer, but then I will get that Colin Candy Sticks with Sugar and Pink Haze. I don't need all the Colin Candy scents. It was the same reason I chose to delete Pink Sugar Beer and Mint out of my club. So... Lavender Violet, I do like this one, but again, two in my stash shows me I haven't warmed it for six months. There are other lavender scents in the catalogue, so as much as I love it, I don't really need Lavender Violet. So we're going to say bye-bye to Lavender Violet. Maleficent I do warm through quite regularly. It says I've got two, but... I warm that by itself. I warm that in different mixes. So Maleficent is staying. Silver Bells. Yes, it says I've got four. But again, I warm that one all year round. And I've got two of them. Two of them will be staying in my Scentsy Club for the time being. At some stage, I may decide to reduce it down to one. But at the moment, it's a retired scent in here in Australia and it's coming into the season where it's going to be warmed quite regularly so i will see how i go through my stash if i'm finding i'm building up a big stockpile it will get reduced down to one but at the moment it is staying at two pink haze and sugar are staying they're going to be my cotton candy scents i'm going to enjoy for the time for the time being at some stage i may even make a decision between just one of them 
vitamin relapses from our vitamin collection is still available here in Australia, but that out of that whole collection is probably the only one that was club worthy for me. So we'll see how I go through with warming it if it's one that gets forgotten, but I don't think it will be. It reminds me very much of Pacific Sandalwood. I think that's one that I will end up in my rotation of bedroom scent. So I'm only taking two out of my club here, but that's an extra $20. So that's my daily club brought down to what I would consider its bare necessities at the moment. I may even actually look at using, if it's still available, vitamin R out and putting it in tea. I may even look at putting vitamin R into one of those ones that didn't, that were like one bar off taking that half price item. So that could be a option as well. So we will see. As I said, my highlights here were December, January, February to get my clubs. So I'm back here in that winter club where I took things out and put them into that bi-monthly club. So this is the quarterly winter club, the ones that were already get my bars and that I couldn't take out and adjust into I guess my new process of what I was thinking of using. So I'm going to go through that prep and block and delete section in a bit because I went back through all of them and thought what am I going to delete to get down to a price point that I'm happy with paying quarterly but the way my set clubs are set up because they come consecutive months what I'd need to save a month but what I wanted to do because as I said I was thinking I tried to hold off on my skips and there is a way around skipping without skipping too which I have explained before say I'd used up all my skips but didn't want to lose my bars but didn't want to pay that month what I would then do is I would say for instance go into that bi-monthly club there and what I would do is I'd buy myself something I needed like I, if I'd run out of washer whisks or I'd run out of counter clean so I'd go into the bi-monthly club and I might get some of my cleaning products and my laundry products in a one-off shipment in that bi-monthly club I'd let it process so that shipment would be coming to me. So say I brought a tub of washer with six, got my 10% off. So I got a tub of washer with six, $45. Let it come to me, let it process. And then what I would do after it was like basically processed and it said, your next shipment is due in so say I did it this month and I brought a tub of washer with. So this month, September, and I put it in a bi-monthly. So September, October, November. So then my next shipment wouldn't be due to November. So then if I had used up all these skips in here, but kind of wanted to skip without losing them again and without losing all my get my bar, I would then basically just merge that quarterly subscription up into the bi-monthly subscription September, October, November where it wouldn't come to November delete the tub of washer whisks out because I already have that coming wouldn't need the washer whisks yes that club would be sitting in a bi-monthly club but it would also be classified as a whole new club because I basically got rid of that quarterly club by merging it into another club. I hadn't done any skips in that bi-monthly club, so I could then if I even wanted to and didn't want to get that club in that November 
basically do my one skip then again for the year or I could then if I wanted to later on decide to buy something back down in the the quarterly club or I had something added down into a new quarterly club start a new quarterly club down there and then merge it back down into a quarterly club so that's kind of a way without skipping with skipping without losing your product more than once in a 12 month period it does involve kind of playing and maybe if you don't have anything so you, I may have already had something for instance where my my original one has a bi-monthly a monthly and a quarterly I may have already had items in there so I may not have needed to buy anything if I've already got items in that bi-monthly club all I had to do was do a simple shuffle merge process so that's just kind of a way about getting around things but as I said December January February were kind of the months where I was thinking I would try and skip my club because of the heat up here and how my bars arrive even with heat even with cooling ice packs and the Milo pouches they still can arrive quite icky and droopy and goopy because of how hot it's here in Mount Isa so that club that has just processed today now is not due to come to December so I want to skip December so if I hit that it's going to give me this warming always get my bar items are allowed one skip every 12 months and it's flashing up orange so Olaf warm hug sensi bar evil queen just one bite the haunted mansion three thumbs up sensi bar chocolate coconut cream sensi bar peppermint dreams sensi bar cider mill sensi bar hug in a mug sensi bar and sugar cookie sensi bar which is basically my whole club they always get my bar because i put them in there because i love them they are no longer available to purchase on the website they are no longer available to add to sensi club so it's saying do i this cannot be undone so it's giving me a warning i can only do my bars are allowed one skip every 12 months and it's orange so that means I haven't skipped it if that was red that would mean I had done a skip in the 12 months so I'm gonna go yes yeah, skip this shipment so it means my next order won't come to March so I'm going to write my next order ships March on the bit you can't see on another little post-it note that I'm going to put in my winter quarterly folder. But I'm going to do it over here where my winter quarterly folder is. So where are we? Winter quarterly. So as you can see, I've color coded too. So all my purple mean they're my winter quarterly scents. My green means it is my summer quarterly scent. My blue means it's my winter bi-monthly. And all my light blue means it's my winter bi-monthly. My dark blue means it's my monthly. Because I went through and I worked out what I potentially am looking at deleting or maybe be deleting at some stage in the shopping block and delete section and I've kind of put them in order of when I would potentially delete them so this is where that winter quarterly one was in Trello so I'm just going to put a comment down here that I skipped shipment so even though if I were which I can't do at the moment because I've got to wait till December finish and it's got skip shipments December here but that will go away after December if I then try to skip again where you saw that orange it would come up in bright red letters saying I can only it would say the same words as it said before but it would be red so that orange had turned to red which basically meant I had already skipped so 
I'm just putting a note there. Get ships. So there's a note there. Whoops, no, that's not where I wanted it. So. Yes, I want to delete this comment. I wanted to put the note. So I'm just going to write skip the symbol up here in big letters where I can see it. Skip the symbol. So winter one, and then I've got in brackets skip the symbol. So that's in big where I can see it. It looks quite small, that club, but that's because I've got quite a few on my chopping block section so now that shipment won't come till March which is where I would probably typically end of March beginning of April I would then probably typically start looking at warming a lot of these scents so December January February the scents that are in this club anyway I wouldn't look at warm, warming. I probably wouldn't look at warming them until probably March anyhow. So they're safe in my club. They don't come back at any stage unless I decide to obviously delete them out. But I basically know that I basically know that that club's basically safe till March. I've done my one skip, which is why I've put the skip up there. So let's just briefly, because I'm not going to go back in and re-edit all my clubs again. Otherwise, this video is going to be a long, long video. You've already seen me edit a few of them. Uh, there's only those two small winter ones I have to edit. So as I said, I showed you my colour system coordination so I kind of know from what area I drag these from and where I've got more than one winter quarterly in a few I've just written notes in there notes that came from my winter three so what I'm probably definitely going to delete because I've got two coming in the next shipment I've got, I think, two or three, or well, I've got two. It tells me how many I've got. So I'll have, after my next shipment, which is coming this month, I think, four tasted marshmallow. Absolutely love the scent. I get two come to me every quarter, but I'm not reaching for it as much as I thought I would. I use it more as a mixer, so I probably don't need two coming each quarter. So... I'm going to reduce that toasted marshmallow when I get my next lot of toasted, my next lot of two arrive to me. The first thing I'm going to go in, I'm going to then, I'm not going to delete toasted marshmallow out completely, but I'm going to downgrade toasted marshmallow to one and just have one toasted marshmallow come as a quarter instead of two. I feel like I'm just vanilla bourbon, I like, something can only warm in winter but I wouldn't reach for it all the time. It's still available in our Father's Day collection. So I feel like I'm just going to go and buy a six pack of wax. And in that six pack of wax, two of them will probably be vanilla bourbon. I'd probably only need two to enjoy through the winter. It's one of those scents where I would use one or two for winter and then be done. So I'm probably going to do a six pack of scents that I think I'll be leaving at the end of the month. I think we've only just had Father's Day, but I think come the end of this month, they will require the Father's Day collection. So I'll probably, I might even do a six pack of three sandalwood tangerine. I really did enjoy that scent, but it was just too light for it to be club worthy for me. So I might get three sandalwood tangerine, three vanilla bourbon. It just depends what else there. They will look at retiring and they haven't said they're retiring at the end of this month the father's day collection but i have a feeling that's what will end up happening caramel sugar cane it comes to me every three quarters love it 
more of a mixer for me. I don't really use it by itself, but it's a very sticky, messy bar. And even in winter, it's coming to me very sticky, very gooey, very messy. And I, it's not that I don't like it. I just kind of feel I'm over it. I, if I'm using it, I mix it with an apple to try and recreate a caramel apple type scent. So I'm thinking I've got one bar which only just arrived and I only just zoomed through my other bar that came three months ago. So it took me four months to warm one bar basically. So I'm thinking as much as I like it, I don't reach for it. And when I do, I usually need an apple scent to tone down the sickly sweet sugary note of it. So I'm thinking caramel sugar cone is definitely going to go. Cozy cardigan. Now I have that in my quarterly card, but I also have it in my monthly card. Really, really love it. I think I'd prefer to keep it in my monthly club over the quarterly club, but it's only a bedroom scent for me. So I'm only, I'm not using more than one bar at a time. So really, if I'm getting it monthly, I probably don't need it as a quarterly as well because I'm not even warming it as much as I love it and again it's probably more one that I warm through the winter months I will go through one bar a month through the winter months but as we're coming into summer there's going to be some lighter summery bedroom scents I'm probably going to reach for something that's got a bit more of a floral note sweet floral note I'm probably going to reach for something like sugar and pink haze I'm probably going to reach for my peony petals I'm probably going to reach for some of those others in my summer stash so I'm thinking one a month in my monthly club will be enough I don't need it in my quarterly club so that's where I'm thinking of deleting cozy cardigan from Gryffindor again I love this scent but it's winter only specific for me and it's not something I'd reach for constantly so I'm thinking in the same way as I'm thinking vanilla bourbon, go get a six pack of licensed bars. I'm thinking three for winter that I would go through and that would be it. So I'm thinking get a six pack of licensed bars. Buy, I've already got one Gryffindor in hand. So buy two, buy two Jack's Obsession, buy two Halloween Town. That's where my thoughts are going with that one. I'm thinking I want to stock up a bit more on Halloween Town and Jack's Obsession anyway before it deletes. Uh, for before rather than have two come every two rather than have two in my club. So that will help me stock up on Jack's Obsession, Halloween Town, and it will get the me the amount I would probably use in Winter of Gryffindor. Star Wars, Light Side of the Force and Roll of the Dice. We're just waiting to collect one more label on each of those collector labels. Once we've got that label, they're gone out of my club. So that's what is probably on my definite deleting list. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 51, 62. That's $73 basically cheaper a, a um, quarter that I won't need to worry about. So let's talk about what's on the chopping block which may potentially make its way over to the deleting section. So we're going to talk about all the purple ones first. So I've got Clementine Cupcake, Hugging a Mug, Cider Mill and Sugar Cookie. These are my all-time favorite bars why would I then potentially put them in a chopping block because I also have these are all in my quarterly winter club but I also have all of those four in my monthly club so they will not stay in my quarterly club as I said before what I will do is I will get a few months of them through my monthly club when I'm ready to work, merge that monthly club into the bi-monthly club and not have a monthly club and 
have a little bit of a stash up of them, they will also then get deleted out of my quarterly club and I will then just get those stamps come to me every two months because they are stamps I would use on a little bit more of a regular basis but not enough to warrant them being in two lots of clubs. So now we're going to talk about what could potentially be on a chopping block even though I've downgraded my summer club right up to its half price item, $130 including the half price item what potentially may leave the summer club at some stage lime zest and vanilla so i haven't actually tried a bar of this i really really want to try a bar of this but we have cocoa lime in our current catalog and we have vanilla bean buttercream so i'm wanting to do a experiment with cocoa lime and vanilla bean buttercream see what that smells like together because they're both catalog scents and if it's anywhere similar to lime zest and vanilla then i won't keep lime zest and vanilla in my club because it's taking up space where i can buy two catalog items that don't need to be in my club and create a similar type of scent so that's my thoughts with lime zest and vanilla now sliverum i need to warm again i do have one bar coming that i've brought but this may potentially go the same way as gryffindor it may be i purchase two or three to enjoy but it may be that i don't consider it unique enough to be something that will stay in my club so as much as I enjoy those two scents, Ravenclaw, I know I absolutely love. That won't go out of my club. But those are the two Harry Potter scents that I enjoy but feel like I could just get a little stash of rather than have in my club. And then I've got two in the, which would be shocking to you, considering you hear me say these scents, one of them create scent memory or both of them create scent memories one's what was at my scentsy club and the other one is what i warm birthday week between my children but as much as i love them how often do i reach for them so these kind of fit into the category in my things to or details to consider Am I using it? The quantity and am I using it? So I do love them, but I also know they're not scents. birthday wishes these and you can even see by looking at the numbers it's got the cobbly banana bean and pink lamp honeycomb and dip but normally all of them by the time my next club ships the quantity would have zero 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 and that's because it gets used before it comes in the only reason i have two of quantity in stitch at the moment is because it was recently out of the vault and I did do a little bit of a stock up while it was out of the vault. King Collada Charter, I'm right in the middle of winter melting. That's why I have two of them and the same with Banana Berry. These are ones that kind of get warmed regularly in my summer months. So end of next month, Pina Colada Charter, Banana Berry, you'll see dwindle down to zero before the next club shipment comes. So that's why they stayed there and didn't go to the chopping block. 
whereas where Mel had where more yeah where all mad here and Dumbo Circus Parade. I do enjoy them, but I don't reach for them as much. So I do sometimes build up a little bit of a quantity with them. So that's just my final thoughts on my club edit process. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I kind of work with Trello in combination with the post-it note system that has been going around with some other videos in making these decisions. And potentially, I will say, if I did delete all those out in the chopping block and in the let's delete out stage, it would bring, like, it's now currently sitting at 243 a month, but it would bring back down because I've taken into account I had to, when I was doing this, I guess, calculation of pricing I had to take into account that I had to times the monthly club by three because I was getting that every month not every three months I didn't times the bi-monthly one because I was doing it every two months so by the time the third month came around even though it was coming every two months it kind of still fitted into the process so my final calculations I worked out it would take out roughly $43. So it would give me between $190. No. Actually, it went down to less. I think it was between $130 and $100. And I think it's about $150. So I think I'd have to do the calculations again. But based on if I were to take out all of that on the chopping block and the delete, I would be paying roughly $150 a month which is what i'm happy with it's kind of around the price that you'd be paying with a house price item and shipping so that's doable for me that's kind of where i wanted to sit at but it will go even cheaper again it would probably go even cheaper again as i said once that monthly club gets merged into that bi-monthly club because then I wouldn't have to times it by three. I'd only have to times it by two. So by that stage, I would be saving myself another $60 again. So that's pretty good savings. And I kind of feel going forward with my rotation or my rotating system works of switching my bi-monthly and my quarterly out each season to what I'm using, that this may be a cheaper, more manageable way of keeping the club together. So let's hope so. Until then, stay safe and bye for now.